Many of us experience pain either because we feel lonely, we haven't found our spouse, or because we, have, we experience a broken relationship. Others feel pain because of financial woes or because of health issues. But whatever the case is, many of us experience a lot of pain. When we were young, we had dreams and we dreamt that we would have a perfect life, perfect children, perfect spouse, perfect finances, fame. But of course, this is only in the dreams because in real life, this doesn't exist. So what do we do? In one of the most beautiful and most said, most prayed prayers on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we recite the verse, the prayer, Chadesh Yameinu Kekedem, restore our days to the good olden days. That's the simple explanation. But the word Kedem can also mean restore our days to the days of East of Kedem. Kedem is the name of the place that Adam and Eve were banished to once they were expelled from the Garden of Eden. It says God sent them Mi Kedem Legan Eden. You see, Adam and Eve had the most perfect life possible and then God expelled them. So what the prayer is saying is Chadesh Yameinu Restore our days, kekedem, like the chaotic times of Adam and Eve. What in the world does that mean? And it's here that we find the beautiful meaning of our sages, because what they say is as follows. Adam and Eve were supposed to live forever. Adam and Eve were billionaires. They owned the whole world. They were in paradise. They were in heaven by God. They had everything. They were supposed to live forever. Anything they wanted, they had. And then they messed up. They sinned. And when they messed up, God banished them from everything they had. Their world, their dreams were shattered, were broken. From now on, man and his wife would die. A woman would experience pain. Man would have to work for a living. Things changed. But what did Adam and Eve do? Instead of despairing, instead of throwing up their hands and giving up, they rebuilt humanity. Imagine if Adam and Eve would have given up, would have ne we would never be here today. Adam and Eve said, despite the pain, despite the hardship, we will persevere, we will rebuild. And that is exactly what they did. And this is the prayer that we say on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. God, give us the strength to begin again. Give us the strength that despite our broken dreams, despite the fact that we experience pain, give us the strength to rebuild, to continue our lives. Elie Wiesel, who passed away this year, experienced tremendous pain during the Holocaust. As a Holocaust survivor, his dreams, everything was shattered. And one year on Simchat Torah, the Lubavitcher Rebbe saw him, and they got into a conversation. And the Rebbe said, I want to give you a blessing. And Elie Wiesel perked his ears, said, what's the blessing? And the Rebbe said, I give you a blessing that you should be able to begin anew, that you should be able to rebuild your life. And that's exactly what Eddie Wiesel went on and did. He and his wife had a child, something they never wanted to do before that, all because of the Rebbe's blessing. We're standing now right before Rosh Hashanah. It's the beginning of a new year, the dawn of a new era. It's a time where we wipe our slate clean. We're starting fresh. We're going to begin a new year with this prayer in our minds. God Almighty, let us begin afresh, despite everything that's happened now. Give us the strength to rebuild our lives. Shana Tova, Happy New Year.